My name is Marco Ruella. I am an assistant professor of medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm also the scientific director of the lymphoma program of the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania. My research interest focuses around CAR T cell therapy. So uh, CAR T cell therapy is a way to engineer the immune cells of a patient, sort of to teach them how to fight cancer. As a junior uh, postdoc uh, coming from abroad, obviously uh, you are sort of uh, always trying to understand if the research that you do is impactful. And so for me, when I applied for the AACR postdoctoral fellowship, it was also a way for me to understand if my research was significant, was innovative. That specific fellowship uh, was focused on the issue of antigen negative escape after CAR T cell immunotherapy. So at that time, this was around 2015, um, the first patients were being treated with CAR against CD19. And there was this sort of um, unexpected finding where uh, the leukemic cells were coming back without expressing CD19. So it was a specific uh, strategy to escape the CAR therapy losing CD19. And so the whole proposal was about, can we identify uh, new targets that can be used uh, to kill these cells that have now lost CD19? Can we design CAR T cell that target not only CD19 but also another target? In that case, we use CD123. Well, I would say now, about almost 10 years later, the concept that you need to target more than one antigen is pretty established, but at that time was you know very early concept. That was a pretty impactful in the field. It was really inspired by that initial AACR fellowship. Without funding we wouldn't be able to do anything. And while the US through the federal government does provide a lot of support, it's extremely competitive and typically is given to investigators that are a little bit in later stages. Thanks to the ACR Fellowship, scientists like me in the early stage at that time were able then to go on and get funding from the federal government. As a matter of fact, actually, the preliminary data that I gained through the ACR Fellowship led to a K99 R00 NIH funding that was a dramatic advancement for my career because it really led to my independent position that I then obtained a few years later in 2018. And the fact that a big and important society like AACR was betting on my career or saying yes what you do is meaningful. I can simply say that without them we wouldn't be able to, to progress in our career.